Hello, and welcome to our patient video program entitled Red Lab, or Review of Emerging Data for Lymphoma Patients. My name is Dr. John Leonard from Weill Cornell Medicine and New York Presbyterian Hospital. Thank you for joining us today. I would like to discuss with you over the next few minutes a study from the journal Blood published in, earlier in 2015. This is entitled Outcomes of Transformed Follicular Lymphoma in the Modern Era, a report from the National Lymphocare Study, or NLCS. The first author is Dr. Nina Wagner-Johnson from Washington University at St. Louis. So this study uh, looks at an important issue for patients with follicular and other indolent lymphomas. That's the issue of transformation. Transformation is when a patient has an indolent or slow-growing type of lymphoma that over time can transform or change to a more aggressive subtype. This is an important scenario for patients with lymphoma, particularly indolent lymphomas, because those transformations typically require uh, a more intensive treatment, a treatment regimen that is typically uh, of a nature that is given to more aggressive lymphomas. In fact, patients with transformed lymphoma are typically treated with a regimen called R-CHOP, which is one of the standard approaches for aggressive lymphoma. And so what this paper sought to address is really what is the chance of transformation in the modern era, because this is something that's of concern of patients and concern for clinicians. And what are the outcomes of these patients when transformation occurs? So first of all, what should a patient know about transformation before we get to this particular study? So transformation, a hint of transformation occurring is when an indolent or slow-growing lymphoma suddenly looks aggressive, meaning that one area uh, progresses very rapidly, grows very rapidly, the patient is suddenly quite ill from their lymphoma, perhaps one area grows, one lymph node area grows out of proportion to the other, area, other areas where the lymphoma is occurring. Sometimes some blood tests can also give hints of transformation. And often when we suspect transformation, we do a PET scan which is an imaging scan that includes an injection of radioactive glucose. And high amounts of radioactive glucose, or high SUV values, are more typically seen in transformation. And transformation is ultimately diagnosed with a biopsy showing a change from the indolent to aggressive type. So the study that we're referencing today is a lymphocare study, a, a large registry study that occurred over several years. And at the, this point in time, there were about seven years of follow-up for the roughly 2,600 patients on the study. And so the first question that the study evaluated was, over this seven-year follow-up period for patients with follicular lymphoma, what was the incidence or the chance of transformation? And so over this time period, 14% of patients had a transformation. So this is important to keep in mind, that transformation is something that can occur but in about 85% of patients over the seven years or so since diagnosis, it occurred, it did not occur, meaning only about 15% of patients had this happen. So that's issue number one. Issue number two is, well, how did these patients do? Was there something that could predict the transformation? And the net is that the prior therapy uh, of the patient seemed to have very little effect on the transformation risk. Patients often wonder if I get treatment A or treatment B, am I more or less likely to have a transformation occur? And there's relatively little evidence of this data that really suggested this. What was associated with transformation uh, was some of the normal things that are prognostic features in lymphoma, that being performance status, or is the patient up and around going to work every day? Do they have disease outside of the lymph node? Do they have B symptoms, fever, night sweats, weight loss, that can be systemic effects of the lymphoma? Or do they have a, an elevated LDH or lactate dehydrogenase level? These were all things that went along with transformation. So the net then is that these are risk factors for transformation, which remains a relatively low risk of happening for patients within, again, the seven years of diagnosis, generally speaking. What are the outcomes of these patients? Well, in the past, it has been traditionally thought that this is a big concern, that patients with transformed follicular lymphoma do generally poorly. And in fact, many studies 
demonstrated that these patients tended to be more resistant to treatment, needed to be aggressively treated beyond the RCHOP or CHOP type of therapy, and often needed to go on to autologous stem cell transplant. Well, it turns out that outcomes are improving in this group of patients. Transformation is a less favorable thing versus that population of patients that don't have transformation. But the net is that um, these patients uh, are doing better than what we've seen in the past. And many of these patients are living several years or longer. So that's good news. Transformation is not, uh, is not a, uh, a death sentence by any stretch. It is a si situation that is associated with a less favorable outcome. But there are patients with transformation with modern therapy who can do quite quite well nonetheless. The other thing that's of interest is that there are some patients who have transformation in diagnosis. They present with an aggressive lymphoma and then relapse later or have some evidence also seen of a concurrent indolent lymphoma. That group of patients seems to do quite well and their overall survival is roughly uh, 88 to 90 percent uh, within the five years of diagnosis. So that's a special category of transformation, those who have transformation at the time of diagnosis. So what does all this mean for patients? I think the message here is that we're learning more about transformation and the risk factors for transformation, the outcomes for transformation are improving to a degree and are changing a bit with our modern therapies. So the old data, the old information that we had about transformation uh, seems to be changing a bit, and for the most part in the positive direction. I think in part because we have new treatments and better therapies to deal with these complications. Nonetheless, transformation is something that needs to be considered when patients with indolent lymphomas relapse. And when there's concern clinically for transformation, it's important to pursue that possibility, typically with a biopsy, because that will change therapy. But with modern therapies and, and appropriate therapies, Patients seem to be doing better with transformation, but it's something that needs to be considered, needs to be managed very carefully in an individualized particular situation. So talk to your doctor if you're a patient with follicular lymphoma and you have progression of disease. It's something to keep in mind that you talk to your doctor about the possibility of transformation, whether or not it's something that should be looked at, and how that would approach one's management in a little bit different fashion if transformation was suspected or documented. I hope this information was helpful to you today. Thank you again for joining us and please check back for more Red Lamp videos in the future on other topics relevant to lymphoma patients. Thank you very much.